a Brexit row erupts over the control of Gibraltar's border. We're going to read into this more from the Independent, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Reading really Elite here with an article from The Independent with the headline of the Brexit rouse erupts over the control of Gibraltar's border. David Cameron set for a showdown with MPs on Monday over a treaty for Gibraltar amid criticism that promises to take back control has failed. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share this across social media so others are notified of this video. So just a quick caveat there. Obviously, uh, by the time you see this video, he will have that showdown with MPs and obviously we we'll might have we'll have more details, obviously, following on. We may have an additional video following on from this with regards to Gibraltar. So one of the... It's, the, the issue around Gibraltar has never gone away with Spain. The long-standing thing is, is that it belongs to Spain. They want the land back pretty much it's, it's just the, the context of the history going as far back as 1718 um and it is something that they, they, they generally want to now brexit has kind of exaggerated it because obviously because we're now no longer part of the eu we're kind of deemed a third world country so it's created this issue obviously about british citizens obviously living in gibraltar and that's kind of created uh and then there's obviously the buffer zone between that and spain you can kind of see where the issue is here. And this whole taking back control issue that we've had around Brexit has kind of just made made things a lot worse there. And it actually is actually not just here where there's issues. There's actually, we're going to read, as we read into it, there's also issues regarding some bases in Cyprus as well. So there's a lot, to, there's a lot to unpack uh, with, with this story. And it's quite a, quite an, quite a long piece. So, We'll, we'll go through bit by bit as we go along, guys. So, so the Brexiteer promise of stronger sovereignty has failed and is instead leading to a loss of British a loss con of control of British territories. MPs have warned. The claim has come ahead of a showdown on Monday between David Cameron and members of the Commons European Scrutiny Committee over the planned treaty for Gibraltar. The government of Gibraltar and the UK are close to agreeing a treaty that will that some fear will see the EU Frontex border guards border guards decide who can enter the British overseas territory, and will give them the power to turn away British citizens. Adding to that, with the threat of Gibraltar could become subject to Schengen area rules, there are now concerns that UK citizens will only be allowed to stay for 90 days on the rocks, even though it's a British overseas territory. Well, this is the thing. They they can't have. They can't have for it. They could, because we're not a part of the European Union. This is the problem as well. Um, so it's it's. Yeah, this is the this is this. None of this would be the problem if we were if we were still part of the the free if we were we still had freedom of movement still being part of the EU. But no, you know this is this is this is what you wanted for sovereignty. You wanted these controversies, so. Yeah, I know the very possibility of British citizens being told, even though they've been living on Gibraltar, throughout some of them could be living throughout their lives and whatnot, being told that they will have additional rules on them. Yeah, it does. It feels harsh, but that's the situation that, that we are in right now. So Gibraltar has been a British territory since it was handed to the UK in the Treaty of Eurocorex in 1713. Part of a series of agreements that ended the war of the Spanish succession. Spain, though, has long disputed the land on which the RAF Gibraltar Air Force Base is situated, claiming it was part of an illegal land grab by the British in the 19th century. Spain has been pushing to regain control of the territory for decades. Yeah, and this is the thing. They, they put that Air Force Station there, um, and obviously Spain are not happy about it, and they would love to have control of that airport. Now, some someone made a very clear comment the last time I talked about this in the in the video is that is a that it is a military uh, airfield. It's not a a civilian one, um, so it's not like one that people can fly into as well. But there are wider concerns about this treaty with the EU because of the implications of a uh, dissolution of British sovereignty in areas such as Northern Ireland and even potentially the UK basis in Cyprus where pressure is mounting over land that is British sovereign territory. 
Talks on the draft today took place on Thursday, but MPs on the committee had already written to Lord Cameron demanding answers to a list of questions following evidence suggests sessions with the Foreign Minister David Cameron and Gibraltar's Chief Minister Fabian Picardo. The DUP committee member Sammy Wilson, who supported Brexit, told the Independent Brexit was supposed to be taking back control. It is proven to be the opposite. Well, you know, Sammy, you know, you voted for this deal. You know, you voted for this deal. So, you know, your opinion's kind of like invalid on this. He blamed the pathetic Tory government for the problems he described as a joke. The same pathetic Tory government that you voted alongside with for the deal. Again, can't take you seriously. Mr. Wilson is already angered by developments surrounding the border with Northern Ireland, with last week saw the High Court rule that British immigration policy no longer applies there. No, because they, we need to have there needs to be a complete free lack of complete freedom of movement between the, the two the two island uh, both uh, Ireland and Northern Ireland. He said we're already seeing goods being turned away at the border on the institutions of EU officials, and now new border controls are being built to EU designs. The former cabinet minister, David Jones, a lawyer who sits on the committee and is a deputy chair of the European Research Group of Tory Brexit uh, tier MPs, warned this the Gibraltar Treaty could be even worse than what is happening in Northern Ireland with the winds of framework and it could have wider implementations. This will cause serious ructions in the Conservative Party if Cameron allows it to go ahead. Well, the problem is, is like, what is he supposed to do? His kind of hands are a little bit tied as well, though. The Foreign Secretary was dismissed by some MPs as a globalist who led the Remain campaign, who doesn't really care about British sovereignty anyway. What, what is British sovereignty? I just don't get this reference. However, former Attorney General Dominic Greaves, who opposed Brexit when he was an MP, suggests that Brexiteer MPs had jumped the gun, as nobody outside negotiations has seen the text. He said there is nothing to suggest that the, uh, that, that the UK is about to surrender sovereignty over anything. But the idea that Brexit can be more Gibraltar than the Gibraltans seems, uh, seems to me to be completely ludicrous. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, since when did Brexiteers start caring about Gibraltar? You know, did they, when, when they, this deal was coming through, did they think about them at all? Did they think about the consequences of Northern Ireland when they come through? No, of course they bloody didn't. However, legal experts Catherine Barnard, a professor in European and Employment Law and Deputy Director of the Think Tank UK in a Changing Europe, pointed out that this uh, would not be a problem if the UK was still in the EU. During the 2016 referendum, 96% of Gibraltar citizens voted in favour of Remain. But last year, Mr. Picardo won re-election on the mandate to complete East Treaty's negotiation. <coughs> Excuse me. Professor Barnard warned that the row is based on a Brexiteer's view of sovereignty that is outdated and rooted in the days of the Empire. I agree, Brexiteers need to lighten up. This whole like, Empire thing need to get over that and move on. She said that essentially the Brexiteers during the referendum and after, since pushing a view of sovereignty has not been a truth since the 19th century. Sovereignty is now much more transactional. As soon as you sign any agreement, you dissolve your sovereignty. That is what you're going you're going on with Gibraltar and Northern Ireland. Sovereignty is no longer absolute. <coughs> Excuse me. Professor Bernard said that in the modern world, sovereignty is a matter of give and take. You give up a part of it to gain something more for your country. That's what happens with treaties and any sort of additional agreements. Like if I sell my car to you, I no longer have the car, but you do have but I do have the money that you gave me for it. We see this in this trade and cooperation agreement with the EU. We can change our environmental regulations, but this would mean we'd have tariffs imposed on us. She added that the issue of completing sovereignties could be another potential point of contention between the UK and Gibraltar. The Foreign Commonwealth and Depart Depart Development Office, the FCDO, insisted that the concerns being raised will be resolved before a treaty is signed. An FCDO spokesperson said the UK will only reach an agreement with the EU that the government of Gibraltar is content with. The safeguards of Gibraltar's sovereignty and that fully protects the operations and independence of the UK's military facilities in Gibraltar. The UK remains fully committed uh, to finding a resolution that supports Gibraltar, its people and its economy. Last week's talks were understood to have taken place in a constructive atmosphere leading to an important uh, breakdown in, in additional areas of agreement. Hmm... Mr. Picardo, who has been criticised by the committee, said earlier last week, if they, the treaty provision, did amount of genuine dissolution of British sovereignty over Gibraltar, 
they would not have my support. This is a deal that will assist us in ensuring that Gibraltar's sovereignty continues to be 100% British. They need to understand that this uh, is a deal that needs to be done for Gibraltar and its people of Gibraltar that will determine whether it is safe and secure. However, the concerns raised by MPs uh, deemed to be confirmed in an interview with Mr. Cardo on Radio Force Today programme on Saturday. He said that the basis of the framework was the 2020 New Year's Eve uh, agreement involving Gibraltar becoming part of the common travel area with uh, Schengen. He noted that this is necessary because there are around 15 million uh, movements a year across that border with the EU because there is a need for freedom of movement for goods between the territory and the EU. Mr. Picardo pointed out that 96% of Gibraltars have voted Remain, adding, when we were European super citizens, we had the right to access the EU. It was relatively easy. He, he was dismissive of the row with Brexiteers on the Committee over UK sovereignty, saying, that is a question of which filter you apply to your view. I mean, 96% of the people of Gibraltar who voted to remain in the EU did not think being members of an EU amounted to surrendering to a surrender of sovereignty. He also made it clear that he believes that his election victory last year gave him a mandate to press ahead with the deal. He said the people of Gibraltar effectively voted for the framework to become a treaty between the UK and the EU. Yeah. He he was voted in, so he he's in charge. Of, he he made he's in charge of that country. So Brexiteers yeah, just need to kind of shut up, really, if I'm honest about it, because you know we 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 don't we we don't know what the what what the people of Gibraltar want, and then in turn, unless you actually go down there and literally speak to them individually, but they but what we do know is that the majority of people there wanted to remain in the EU. They wanted to be they wanted to have that freedom of movement, and they don't want that affected in any way, shape, or form. And that's exactly what's happened as a result of us leaving the single market and customs union. And while once again, people here on this island don't seem to really give a two monkeys about it um, that's the situation that they are in and that's what this is row is about so when people keep saying brexit is done and again another issue here where brexit is not done and it's an issue and it needs to be addressed and how it gets addressed obviously i'm sure detail the more details will come as time passes on but um their their issues need to be addressed and hopefully they will be addressed uh, soon but um Hopefully, David Cameron will make sure it is the right deal, not just for the people of Gibraltar, but for the, but not just for Gibraltar and its people, but also for hopefully within the benefit of Spain and the EU as well, a satisfactory deal that can be reached hopefully in due course uh, for everyone's sake. But what do you guys make of this Brexit row? What do you make of Brexiteers uh, crying? crying sovereignty um, over something that they didn't really care too much about when the Brexit deal was negotiated or, or with regards to the deal that that, the, that was signed uh, as well with the effects that it would have on Northern Ireland as well. What do you guys make about uh, Gibraltar's position? And do some of you actually believe that Gibraltar actually shouldn't even belong to the Britain anymore and perhaps maybe it should be either independent or back in Spain's hands after 1718? Who knows? Let me know what you guys honestly think in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are not fire this video. And subscribe, because it really does help support the channel. And if you want to go one step further, financially support me and the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p. Or join me on Rumble or Patreon or Facebook for exclusive content on those platforms. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to catch you all very, very soon.